Okay, so uh, Prithika and I, I'm Daniel, are going to demo our lab. So first, take a look. These are, um, I'll go through the files. You can see that they're all time stamped before the deadline. Let me just navigate to the other ones. There you go. You can see everything is uh, was uh, submitted on time. Okay, so just to talk about um, our Verilog a little bit, this is of course the top module, the decoder, just like in lab two. Um, there's not a whole lot of changes. The main thing is that now uh, we're working in five bits. You can see like right here, A, B, and opcode are all five bits instead of uh, four bits as they were previously. Um, but most of it is unchanged. Uh, the first thing I'll note is that we're no longer using um, like an in decoder uh, binary coded decimal evaluator. Instead, we're using an individual module for that, which I'll show you here. Let me move this out of the way. Um, and uh, we came up with this ourselves instead of like adapting it from some other module. And it just converts a 5 bit um, binary number to a um, uh, to a binary coded decimal number in eight bits. Okay, uh, next we've also got the ALU. It's essentially the same ALU from last lab, except now notably it and all of its sub modules work in five bits rather than four bits. Next we've got um, a seven segment display uh, module. This is completely unchanged because since we modified the decoder and the other modules to work to convert from five bits to eight bits, there was nothing to do, nothing to change in this. Uh, next, we've got a module to generate sound. It's essentially just a clock divider, which can operate at two um, tones, essentially dividing by different amounts to get different frequencies. Um, next, we've got a module for, to run the VGA. Uh, it works using um, uh, essentially sweeping across horizontal and then by vertical um, across the screen as a VGA should count. And it happens uh, to display red, uh, which you'll see when we uh, demo the actual uh, FPGA. And these are the modules for counting horizontally and counting vertically. And you can see based on this enable V counter um, input that the vertical counter only counts whenever the horizontal counter is finished counting to enable that sweeping VGA mode. Uh, and so with, with that, we'll switch to demoing the physical FPGA. Okay, hi, so Daniel and I are here and we're gonna demo the physical VGA and the seven segment display with the ALU. So as you can see here, the VGA is red, as Daniel described earlier. And now we're going to kind of show how the ALU now works with the five bits. So notably, a big change from last time is the fact that the control can no longer work as we had originally intended. The control is now two bits and essentially switches between displaying A when the control is zero, one when the control is B, sorry, yeah, B when the control is one, two when the control, when two, ugh. When the control is two, it displays the result in binary code decimal of the ALU operation. And when the control is three, it'll display the result in hex. So these four, the first four switches over here re represent the off code. The next five represent A, the subsequent five represent B, and of course, like I mentioned earlier, these last two represent the actual control. So now we're gonna test this out with a few values. So we're gonna first have this set to zero and we're gonna set A to 17. So that's 16. You can kind of see that the six and the one is a little bit more light up, even though there is some bleeding eating. And now it's 17. 
And as we said, it displays A, and I want to switch this to B. We're going to set B to be 3. Oh, oops. So that's 3. It lights up a little bit more so than before. And we're going to kind of show you the result of this. So when the opcode is 0, this shows you a negative 17. That one kind of lights up a little bit more than the other bits. It's a little hard to see on camera. And when the result's in hex, it gives us 11, which also lights up a bit more. So we're going to run through all of the opcodes and kind of show you this in binary coded decimal. So in the first zero, the result is just negating A, so that gives us negative 17. Then it negates B, which gives us negative 3. It's a negative sign, those are zeros. Then 2 is subtraction, which is 17 minus 3 is Fourteen. This is three. Which is multiplication. Okay, I'm just gonna run through each of these. So that's three. This is four, which gives us twenty-eight. Five gives us fourteen. Six gives us eighteen. Seven gives us sixteen. It gives us three, and then gives us negative 14. 10 gives us one. 11 gives us 19. 12 gives us 30. 12. 18, and then finally 13. So yeah, you can cross check those with the same uh, codes that was on the original ALU for lab, lab two. And we will also be demonstrating the sound, but as it's very faint and can't be picked up with our current microphones, that'll be added on a little bit later in the video. Alright, so we're going to demonstrate the speak capabilities that we programmed into the FPGA. So whenever the C out is 1 and it's on, the tone will be higher. And whenever it's off, the tone that it emits will be lower. So right now it's off. You can hear the lower tone. Right now it's on. And you can hear the higher tone.